Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at a slab piece of pottery using a beveled edge joint. So use your procedure rolling out, you've got your rolling guides and your rolling pin. So if you take a piece of paper and decide on the size of the plant pot you want to do and just wrap it around to check the size and then take a, something like a Pringles pot or the crisps are available and wrap that with some paper as well. Clean off your clay and then use your paper as a template. So just check the paper for size and mark that off so that when you come to put your template out you know where you're going to cut. So this join is slightly different to our normal overlap join in that we're going to create two beveled edges. So I'm just tidying up the clay now and I'll just I'll turn it around to show you how to make the beveled edges. So you can see you're going to cut on an angle down both sides so you keep the knife exactly the same angle at both ends and that creates a larger surface area for joining and it's much easier to join. So if you pick your cloth up with your clay and wrap it around your former, you can see now the beveled edges come together beautifully. And you're going to scratch and slip those as normal. So if you take a kidney or your credit card or a piece of card, you can smooth that join over and then put it to one side while you roll out a base. So this time we're actually going to sit the clay on top of the base and we're going to join the base up the sides of the cylinder. So scratching and slipping as normal. and then join the sides up. And again, using a kidney or an old credit card. I also, at this point, because you've got the former inside, you can actually roll the clay and get it nice and rounded and smooth it all off. Then find a few things that you can use for texturing. So here I've got a fork and a few other items and you're going to work around textures. Again, leave the former in so you've got something to press against while you're putting all the textures onto the vessel. And I decided to make mine into a little owl plant pot. So here you can see I'm just making the eyes rolling balls and anything you attach remember you just need to scratch and slip that to the vessel
Here I'm attaching some wings. You can also, for a bit of added strength so things don't pop off, just blend in with a, a tool or a knife at the, the sides of the things that you're, you're sticking on as well. So you've got the option to add some little legs, so I'm just rolling out some three pieces here to make three little stilted legs. What you do have to remember is they need to dry to leather hard before attaching. Et voila, here's your little owl plant pot.